Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Thursday, February the 13th, 2020, and this is episode 3,222. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Great to be back in Lynchburg, Virginia today. Today's episode is titled, Mission Possible. Stay tuned. So when you have a long flight like I had out to uh, Phoenix, Arizona and back, it's about a four-hour flight, and you don't sleep well on a plane, you got to find some ways to occupy your time. And one of the things that I really enjoyed on that flight was reading a book. I think I've shared that with you. It's called The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. A really great book. I strongly encourage you to get that book and read it. The other thing you do if you have a a Kindle or a laptop, any other kind of a tablet or phone, is go to Amazon Prime if you have that and download some videos to watch. And so I watched uh, a couple movies there and a couple movies on the way back. And yesterday on the way back, I downloaded uh, one of the more recent Mission Impossible (laughs) videos. Mission Impossible. Yeah, you got to love that, right? I mean, think about it. Your mission, Jim, should you choose to accept it, dot, dot, dot. You know, as I was thinking about that, I thought about this this passage of Scripture this morning because I want to talk to you not about Mission Impossible, but Mission Impossible possible. Let me suggest today, I, I'm not the Lord, so I <laughs> I don't know what his plans are for you today, but I know this from his word, Psalm 105 verses 1 through 2. This is part of everybody's mission today. Are you ready? Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him. Yeah, some of you are thinking, yeah, that's mission impossible. No, it's not. Sing to him. Make a joyful noise. Doesn't matter whether it's in tune or not. Sing psalms to him. Talk of all his wondrous works. Did you get that? That's your mission today. And I'm telling you, it's possible. Give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him. Sing psalms to him. Talk of all his wondrous works. Let him be the center and the focus of your life as you do whatever it is you do. Whether you're a student in school or whether you're going to work or you're at work, let this be your mission today. Now, You remember the other part of Mission Impossible, right? As always, should you or any of your IM force be caught or killed, the secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions. This tape will self-destruct in five seconds, ten seconds. Good luck, Jim. You know what I would say about this mission that I'm giving you today? As always, should any of you be caught or killed or suffer... God will never disavow. God will be present in any of your situations. And this word, this promise, will endure forever. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of God abides forever. And God would not say good luck. I would say to you, Godspeed. Father, thank you so much for the mission that we can have for every day. Lord, help us today to fulfill this mission today, to follow your word, to give thanks to you, to call upon your name when we're struggling and when we need help, 
to make your deeds known among the peoples, the people that we meet today. Lord, help us to share what a good God you are, to sing to you, to worship you, and to talk about your wondrous works, what you have done. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, Bruce Turner at gmail.com. Have a great day. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.